Well, the girlies are out here embarrassing me. Like they don't got no common sense. Participating in these balloon popping challenges, 20 versus one challenges, twirling around, doing a 360, wanna be picked real bad. And this just shows poor pussy management. When you don't know the power you hold, you gonna just give away your powers just to anyone and everyone because you don't know that you should be limiting access. Everyone should not have access to you, around you, at all. Period, point blank. Your time should be limited, your energy should be limited, and your resources should be limited. Especially to strangers, to people you don't know, people you just met, or people you just dating casually. Especially if you participating in this hookup dating culture, you just playing yourself, sweetheart. Because now you are emotionally tied to other people, emotionally invested, and to other people. So you getting all lost in a sauce just to be penetrated by someone that hasn't even penetrated your mind, penetrated your soul, penetrated your energy. What are you getting from this interaction? Are you getting a headache, a heartbreak, attention? I know you're not getting respect because if they can just lay you on your back, they looking down at you. You have to stand tall. You should not just bend it over, touch your toes just because they said so. Are they Simon Says? Absolutely not. This is poor pussy management. You don't understand that you're the CEO of your body. So you take the responsibility. You hold yourself accountable. But if you're just giving people access to you, they are going to take advantage of you. This is why you gotta be like, access denied. Because you can possibly get a soul tie. You can possibly get a STD. You can possibly get pregnant. You have so much more to lose than the man that is just digging you down, bending you over, making you go to pound town. What are you getting from this interaction? This is poor pussy management. You want somebody to lead you to hell instead of you leading yourself. You want somebody to save you from your own misery without you even taking true authority over yourself, true responsibility over yourself. No one is coming to save you here. And the quicker you realize that, the quicker you won't stop wasting your time. The quicker you won't stop participating in these games. The best thing I ever did was just bow out the game gracefully. I bowed out the game gracefully because nobody can play with me. I'm not about to just bend it over, touch my toes, make it clap. I'm not about to do that because what is what am I getting out of this? Money ain't enough for me. Attention ain't enough for me. These likes ain't enough for me. I know my value. I know myself. And when you know your value and you know yourself, you're not about to just give anybody access to your mental, to your peace of mind, to your heart. You must limit access because you know the danger it is when you are entangled with another soul. Soul ties is real and I know many people don't believe in it, but I do. And I know the effect it will have because now I'm taking on somebody else's karma. I'm taking on somebody else's mess. I don't want no parts. I don't want no parts. I must protect my inner matrix, what goes in me and what goes out of me. I'm damn sure not about to let anybody enter me a stranger someone i'm dating casually someone that i'm just texting you a stranger to me you don't really know somebody you gotta see them all four seasons you can't just be so excited with folks you can't just be so eager to give yourself away to folks slow down slow your road no one makes it out of here alive so what is the rush why are you rushing in bed with these folks? You don't even know them. You don't even know them. And this is why you end up getting lost in the sauce, losing yourself because you just gave yourself away for the free free, for the low low, for the bare minimum. This is poor pussy management and you out here embarrassing me.
you out here embarrassing me you better know your worth and you better act like it this is your child free auntie talking to you i want the best for you while these other motherfuckers just want a nut <laughs>